so how can I have confidence that this gives me a, uh, a real valid representation of a, a running MOS system? Okay, so again, the containers have been being developed for a considerable amount of time. And what we did with the containers is not only is the, the original code base from Sony, the OSS code base from Sony and AMWA, actually validated against the AMWA testing tool. So if you go to the original code, you can see that everything is tested against the test suite in an automated um, CI process. But when we create the container itself, we also repeat those tests. So actually, if you go to the, the build MMOS CPP um, repository, you can actually, and this is used to create the container, um, you can actually see every time that we rebuild the container, so as we have a new version or something changes, we automatically test the container against the AMWA test suite for ISO 4, ISO 5, 7, 8, et cetera, et cetera. And you can see all of the results. And we've even extended that because we even test things like the embedded MQTT broker and other things as part of our continuous integration process. So that's the first step. The second step is that we wanted to kind of prove that this is a valid implementation rather than us saying it's good, yeah, which is gets you so far, we'd rather have someone from a third party perspective uh, do this. So what we did back in March, 2020, is we took a version of these containers to the JTNM tested at event in, uh, in, in the US. Um, and effectively, we actually tested this on an NVIDIA Mellanox switch. The switch isn't that relevant. It was just a platform to test it on. But what we did was we ran the containers through the JTNM tested process and made sure that it, it got all of all of the badges. And you can actually see that JTNM themselves awarded the NMOS badge um, to the container, and also the NMOS controller was tested through the JTNM. And obviously, just to highlight, yes, it was done on a switch, but in reality, it's it, it's the same container. So what you're doing is you when you run it on a host or a Raspberry Pi or whatever it may be, um, effectively, you're running exactly the same code base. So you should have the comfort that not only do we test it through the CI process, not only does Sony test the base code through, the C through their CI process, but we've also had it independently tested through the JTNM um, process as well.